Well, as you can see, the weather has come in. It's starting to dump again. So we're gonna go ahead and change this hydraulic line in the middle of the, all of this because we've been down. Our machine's been down all morning. So we gotta get it up. We were able to get two hoses here. That's our original, which is actually gonna be a little tiny bit shorter. Okay. So I got the hose changed. Wasn't too bad. You can see I got the new one hooked up right there. Brand new hose. So now we gotta dump some fluid in there because we lost quite a bit. So we bought two five gallon jugs of that. And then now our next Thing we got to tackle is these blowers same thing happened again with the fan because we, we don't have the right kind of bolt up here so since that blower is down it's the chute doesn't work on that blower we're going to uh take the bolt out of that one and put in this one so now they got this truck stuck well you're not in four wheel drive so we got all the all the stuff being repaired right now. This fan came out, snapped that bolt again. Um, he's stuck over there. Had to put the blade on this one, a little tiny blade. It actually does work. Uh, it's definitely not as good as a blower, but it's better than nothing. Okay, we got the right bolt finally. Napa had one. Napa know-how. It had what we needed, so. Hopefully this thing won't snap again. Well, we're gonna dig everything out. do it all over again. Alright, we are back up and running. Got my head over here to the Labarge building. So we're going to go check some jobs and see how bad they are. We haven't been out all day. So we just barely got this thing going again. Well, that didn't take long. We just cleaned this whole driveway <laughs> about, I don't know, the truck, driveway, everything probably cleaned it. I would say less than an hour ago, we had it down to the pavement. And uh, here we are with about four inches. <laughs> well, Maybe two hours, but it's definitely been, this is a good three to four inches in two hours. So it's been coming down a lot heavier than this. Big flakes, big heavy flakes. It's kind of wet. So uh, I'm gonna run down to the grocery store real quick and get some stuff for the boys that are out. But I'm gonna get some stuff and make them something to eat so when they get in, I can feed them feed them real good and uh, everybody get to sleep and we'll get back after it in the morning. So the highways are all closed. There's no way out of Mammoth. It's gonna dump like this all night. Could be uh, up to 15 to 18 more inches after what we've already seen. Uh, I mean, you could just barely see out the window right now. Uh, I, had, I decided to go to the grocery store because I had to, but uh, yeah, we're pretty much trapped up here for another day or two. Not going to be getting out of Mammoth. Uh, one of my guys, he lives in Bishop, and they didn't allow him to leave today. 
the escort wouldn't even take him down. So he's uh, staying the night up here with us in our other house. But uh, yeah, we're just uh, dealing with mother nature. Good times. needed it. Uh, he's stuck. Uh-oh, my guy's stuck. Got himself in the bank. Alright, so I told you guys the highway was closed. And so the shelves at the grocery store are basically empty. They're out of food. Look at this. No potatoes. Usually that's all potatoes right there. It's completely empty. I've never seen it like this. Uh, hopefully they'll get the road open back up tomorrow and everything will get restocked that's what I'm thinking but as you can see this is what a couple days of uh, having the highway closed and the trucks can't get up here actually um, a lot of the gas stations are running out of fuel so we've all went and filled up our fuel cells and things like that and we filled up all of our machines and our fuel cells. We just want to make sure that we have enough fuel to run our machines so that we can keep the snow clear. Um, that's a big thing. So it's pretty crazy. This, these shelves are literally empty. Never seen that. So it's not completely empty, but you can see things are missing big time. All right, guys, so we've got some salmon, some chicken breast, a couple of New Yorks, and for the veggies, we're gonna do the squash, onion, mushroom, like medley there with uh, some red potatoes. So these potatoes, I'm gonna bake them anyways because we're gonna make some breakfast burritos too. So uh, I got a lot of stuff to get ready for the guys. They're still out. Been out since about three o'clock this morning and it is now almost seven. So I gotta feed them real good and put them to bed because we gotta do this all over again tomorrow. Hopefully after tomorrow, it'll be kind of the last hurrah for a couple days, but you can see right now, that's what's going on right now. Just fired up the barbecue. As you can see, it's just coming down. We just cleared. That was how high it was right there. I didn't quite get the edge, but um, that's probably like four feet almost. It's like up above my waist. You can see it over there, it's, you know, we cleared that yesterday, but, so you can see where we cut out the center here the, uh, earlier this afternoon. And uh, it's already, we had that whole truck cleaned off and it's just, it's already back. But, uh, gonna get this barbecue going. Looks like the wind finally died down a little bit, so that's nice. I'm like super happy about that. But just look at the snow, it's just beautiful. This is one of my favorite little things that I have out in the garage. Just a awesome little thing, this little heater right here. I mean, this, this just makes it nice and cozy out here. Got the barbecue. Warming up and watching the snow. So I just got this on, got the chicken, got the salmon, and I got the New Yorks and uh, threw a little butter on there. That'll uh, hopefully help tenderize it a little bit. I like to slow cook it on the top one and then I might give it a little sear later on, but for now we're gonna put that on the top and let it go. 
Right now it's running just over 250. So we'll see, uh, probably cook it right around that temperature, you know, for 10 or 15 minutes. And then I might um, sear it up, just get a little char on it. Stadium butter checking out the fresh snow they kind of not too excited right now they were sleeping but they wanted to come out so I let them they got fresh snow on them yeah as you can see it's got a nice brown to it the, the salmon is uh yeah, I'm pretty sure the salmon's about ready too. And then look at that steak. Mmm, yummy. Look at that. What's that look like to you guys? Kind of looks like a snow owl. Or a... Uh, something. That's just a natural uh, effect from the snow. It looks like some kind of animal. Push it. what we woke up to everything's kind of got a good cover on it <laughs> the berms are built up pretty good about three three foot plus so hopefully I can get this old girl out she's kind of stuck in here but uh pretty sure I'll be able to just back right out of that there's Mike's truck it's sat through a lot of this storm looks like that big uh Things turning into a cornice on top. Uh, snow is finally lightened up, so we're gonna go try to do a lot of cleanup today. So we lost a blower yesterday. Well, we lost two blowers yesterday, but uh, we were able to get one of them back up and running. So I had to put the uh, blade back on, which we don't really use this blade hardly ever, but this thing is so fun. It actually, I mean, I can just clear. It's really good for opening up, uh, you know, getting a real tight and throwing it out, making like a wind row. I mean, you can just cut around these buildings like nothing. So it's pretty cool um, having fun with that thing this morning. And uh, I got Ed over here, he's got the bucket. So as you can see, <clears throat> we've already pretty much cut a perimeter around the post office here. So this is all done by hand. And um, now we're kind of, we're cutting it out with the blade and the bucket, we're getting it a little wider. So that Mike can get over here with the loader and finish it up, which, hopefully it won't take him that long he just showed up it looks like so we got we got three pieces of equipment in the yard right now and we're moving some snow 
finally stopped snowing so it's kind of a relief now it's just clean up all we got to do is just do a lot of cleanup so that's what we're going to be working on ed's clearing out my uh pockets right here because what happens we messed up that ram and uh we got to keep those things clean free from snow or we'll end up bending the ram again good times Now we're in the loader, me and Mike. This is the superintendent for, well, project manager, whatever you want to call it, but he runs the Snow Creek project. You can see all the lumber over there that's buried in the snow, but all this framing. There's some houses back there that's getting framed. This is that complex we've been working on for several years. But, now we're switching gears and doing snow removal. All right, well, you guys put rear tires on, new rear tires, but this one, this definitely, I mean, this is, looks old, but uh, it's got a crack in the sidewall. It's not holding there. So it's got another crack right here, sidewall. So now I'm down again, because the tires and I just had five feet of snow well, right when the time when I really need to use this thing so you had to pull that truck out from right there we're up here at main lodge Gonna start getting these roofs uncovered again. So much. I hope you guys are enjoying our. Uh little series on this last storm. We uh, did a one and a two part series because uh, there was just so much content I couldn't get it all on one video. It's pretty hard with the internet and stuff to download like anything like past like 15 or 20 minutes. So uh, I'm just doing it. I'm gonna start shrinking the videos up. They'll probably be around 20 minutes tops. Some of them will be a little longer, but it just takes a long time to download them. So I found that breaking them up actually works pretty good. So, hope you guys enjoy the last couple days up here. It's been extremely crazy. The weather's just been insane. And uh, we're still uh, dealing with the cleanup and the aftermath. Uh, fuel is running very low in town. Uh, actually, a lot of gas stations are out of diesel. We, uh, we filled our fuel cells up and all of our equipment yesterday, like right in the nick of time. Um, I assume that the road will probably be opened up sometime today. If not, definitely by tomorrow. So looks like we have enough fuel to get through uh, this this day. And um, got a couple hundred gallons, so that'll keep our equipment running. I've heard some of the bigger contractors, um, they've run out and because they have a lot of equipment. So they're burning a lot more fuel than we are. But um, I wish everybody the best. I hope everybody out here stays safe. Um, if you enjoy the content, please like, subscribe share it uh, we work really hard to do all this snow removal and do the content on top of that it's pretty tough uh, to keep up with it all but um, you know it's it's just something that I really enjoy doing and 
Um, I really am so thankful to have the following and all you guys watching. So um, stay tuned for the next series. We'll be uh, working on this aftermath for definitely another couple weeks now. We've got a lot more roofs to do now. We're back up at Main Lodge doing uh, clearing the clearing some of the buildings up there, um, and uh, you know some of the stuff that we just cleared in town. Some of these complexes, it looks like we're probably going to be doing them again. So stick around for that over the next couple weeks, and uh, everybody stay safe out there.